Hi, my name is Patrick Viet. I make videos to share my Linux engineering knowledge. Welcome to Server to Server MySQL Dump Restore. This short video is part of a full MySQL data backup transfer video series. This is video number one, MySQL transfer with dump restore. Please check what part applies to you, or if you're unsure, watch all four of them and decide what you'll do after. Well, I'm going to show in this video. First of all, this video is technical. It's a how-to. I assume you have root access to two Linux servers with an SSH client. If you don't know what that means, this video is not for you. I will show you a step-by-step -step diagram of the dump, transfer, restore process. This demo will be done on Linux Ubuntu 12.04 LTS. Except for the Debian.cnf part, it also works just the same in Linux Red Hat, CentOS, Fedora, Suze. I'll do it on Amazon EC2 with two completely virgin installs. I will dump data from an example database, transfer it to another server and restore it. I will show how to take care of things like modified credentials as a result and moving Debian.cnf file. So here is a comparison. We are looking at dump restore. It will interrupt your server while you are running it. It is very easy to do. It's slow because the injection it takes a lot of time. And it supports NODB, MyISAM, anything, and doesn't need any special partitioning. How it works. We run MySQL dump on the source server. This builds a MySQL executable script for the destination server. During this time, the MySQL server will queue queries. Then we copy that dump file to the destination server. We empty the destination server, and we execute the dump file on the destination server. Here's a diagram. So see we have these two servers, left and right, source and destination. We dump. During that time the server pauses. We copy the dump file to the destination server. We empty the destination server. And we inject the data by executing the dump file script. Now onto the screencast. So here I have two servers, server source and server destination, just like in the slideshow earlier. It has a bit of fake data, which I will show you right now. So we can see there are some data bases, including some DB. We can use some DB. Look at what is in there and select everything from some table here. And on the destination server, there is not this. Let's do a dump. The command is mysql dump dash dash defaults file equals slash etc slash mysql slash debian dot cnf dash dash all dash data bases and we are going to pipe this in gzip dash c and send it to dump dot sql dot gz this file now contains a full dump we can look at it gzip dash dc dump dot sql dot gz it's a big mess and as you can see it includes that random data we created this big bunch of sql queries contains everything to create a new database exactly the same now onto the destination server we are going to clear the database for this i have a special command which i'm going to paste here so what this does is list the databases as you can see here, as a command, and then print drop database for each of them. It's not going to work for information schema, but it doesn't matter. All we got to do is copy paste the command and run it with force. It's just going to ignore the one for which it didn't work. Let's copy the dump file from source to destination. For this we are going to use scp 
and uh, SSH keys. So let's create a key. Yes, very nice key. And now I'm going to insert the key on the destination server as accepted. Echo content of the key. Inside Herm Ubuntu .ssh authorized keys, which is going to allow me to do an SCP of dump .sql .gz into destination server. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, with the user Ubuntu. We can now inject it with gzip-dc home ubuntu dump.sql.gz pipe mysql-defaults file is slash etc mysql debian.cnf Last step is to copy the debian.cnf content. The easiest way is also to copy paste. So for this, I'll just do cat etc mysql debian.cnf. Then here, I'll empty it. Nano etc mysql debian.cnf. Select. Paste, Control X, and save. And I can effectively use my SQL dash dash defaults file equals slash etc slash my SQL Debian dot cnf, and it works. Please give me some feedback. To make a good video, I need feedback. Tell me what you liked about it, what you didn't like, what you thought was missing, what you thought was there and shouldn't have been. What other stuff would you like to learn about? Tell me. People like my videos because I make them about what they ask for, not about something I imagine may be useful and really isn't useful to anyone else than me. Stay in touch. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to my mailing list. Thanks.